are announcing two important findings from our autism work that are vital for parents to know. The FDA is responding to clinical and laboratory studies that suggest a potential association between acetaminophen use during pregnancy and adverse neurodevelopmental outcomes, including later diagnosis for ADHD and autism. 28 weeks pregnant. You know what I'm gonna take? Some Tylenol, the acetaminophen. It's gonna work like a charm and my baby won't have autism. The meteoric rise in autism is among the most alarming public health developments in history. Just a few decades ago, one in 10,000 children had autism. It used to be one in 20,000, then one in 10,000, and now it's one in 31. For boys, it's one in 12. That's in California where they have a for some reason, a more severe problem. Instead of attacking those who ask questions, everyone should be grateful for those who are trying to get the answers to this complex situation. Because when you go from 20,000 to 10,000, and then you go to 12, you know there's something artificial. They're taking something. certain groups of people that don't take vaccines and don't take any pills that have no autism. Does that tell you something? No. If the Trump administration approves a vaccine before or after the election, would you take it? If Dr. Fauci, if the doctors tell us that we should take it, I'll be the first in line to take it. But if Donald Trump tells us I should that we should take it, I'm not taking it. The fact that you continue to undermine public confidence in a vaccine is unconscionable. Okay, the point is, 